Hello, in this video we're going to find the domain of this function. We have f of t is equal to the square root of t plus the cube root of t. So the domain is the set of all inputs. It's all the values of t that you can actually plug into this function so that it makes sense. And for this function to make sense, basically this has to make sense and this has to make sense. So what does it mean to make sense? It basically means that you're going to get a number. So here, whenever you have um, a cube root, you can plug in any, any value here. There's no issues where you can plug in negative numbers, positive numbers, zero. So everything goes here. So the domain of just this function is all real numbers. So there's no restrictions at all. But square roots, um, there's a the condition. So basically, you cannot plug in negative numbers into square roots because you'll get imaginary numbers and we're dealing only with real numbers. So basically, t can't be negative. So t has to be greater than or equal to zero because it can't be negative. Another way to see that is to think about the graph of the square root of t. It looks like this. So from the graph, you see it's zero or greater, right? This is the graph of just the square root of t. And again, this one is of no consequence because everything is valid here. So basically, um, the domain is all of the t's such that this condition is true. There's a couple ways to write your answer. Um, you can write it like this, zero to infinity. That would be a good answer. You can also use set builder notation. You can say the set of all t's such that t is greater than or equal to zero. That would work as well, but this is usually better, and this is the way it's usually done in calculus classes. So yeah, I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.